Man, what's going on YouTube, man? Today is uh, Saturday morning, um, and I'm in uh, Grand Forks, North Dakota, but something interesting. I just want to show you guys where I'm staying right now. Some of my clothes in there. See, this is a bare room, computer. See my air mattress right here. And it looks like some, some pretty bare pretty bare situation right now but it is because uh basically what is doing what i'm doing is i'm only in grand forks for about three months no oh, no excuse me for about one month right now um what i'm doing is i'm doing some concepts in the mall uh, i have about three kiosks right now so i don't currently live in uh, north dakota i live in south dakota so basically just took uh, an apartment uh three bedroom and I have uh, two other employees with me here. But, um, you know, I just want to talk about something real quick. Um, I got a, a response back from a guy. And a guy said, you know what? I'm going to unsubscribe to you. So I said, okay, let me see the reasons why. And the guy basically said, the reason why he's going to unsubscribe to me is, is because he felt that he felt my videos were common sense videos and I was too predictable when it comes to my videos and you know I, I wanted to take some time out of the day to talk about it a little bit because you know what that's that's a great point that he's saying you know um, I'll tell you something about me about maybe me about I say about six seven years ago you know I used to think when it came to uh, finance and things like that you know I used to be big into get rich quick schemes you know um, I just thought that you know if I wanted to become a millionaire I wanted to do it overnight I never really had a plan to be a millionaire because sometimes I thought that you know if you ask any person they their goal would be hey I want to be a millionaire but the thing about it is is that most people don't have a plan in order to make this happen you see what I'm saying? Like, if you, next time you hear a guy say, hey, you know what? My goal is to be a millionaire. I want you to ask him this next question. Give me your plan, your detailed plan of how you're going to become one from now until you reach it. Most people don't have a plan. They just have this deep desire inside that they hope to become a millionaire, you know? But, you know, I read a book, and I'm sure you guys have heard of the book. It's called The Millionaire Next Door. And that book right there was an eye opener. And what it told me was is that it doesn't take rocket science to become wealthy. It just takes a plan. And actually, to be honest, it's a very boring life. Because once you figure out the steps that you need to do in order to become one, what happens is you just repeat those steps, those steps every day after day after day after day. You know? And I, I'll be glad to say that the videos that I make are basic they're basic information that someone who who may be a little bit older than you like maybe your grandma your grandfather or, or great uncles or something like this would tell you see because a lot of people think there's some big mystery and some big thing when it comes to becoming wealthy and from all the things that I've studied it has nothing to do with some like Harvard type Yale thinking it's basically basic principles and those principles are live below your means stay away from debt debt is not power debt is actually the slave master I'm gonna say that again debt is not power debt is the slave master for instance I have three projects going on right now I didn't borrow money from no bank I didn't do anything like that all the money that I'm using to fund these projects are from my own bank account. And guess what? At the end, when profits are made, I don't have to send any out. All of it stays with me. Couldn't do this all the time. But it, take, it took time for me to grow to this level. But I had to have patience. I remember when there was times I started off on a swap meet and I only had a couple things to put on it. You know, I had like four or $500 budgets to play with. So, you know, if if you if you feel that hey, 
You know, I don't have any money right now. I don't have things right now. Start where you at. Like I said, trade skills for money. Trade time for money. If you have more time, go to a person with money and say, hey, let's go ahead and create something. Let's make some money together. Let's invest in the things or whatever. Invest in me. You know, like I said, you know, and, and to the, I forget the subscriber, but to the subscriber, anywhere you look, man, anywhere you look around YouTube or just, just study yourself. Millionaire Next Door is a good book to look at. You will find that real wealth has nothing to do with this. It has a lot to do with a plan, following that same plan all the way into the finish line. So that's all I can tell you guys. I mean, there is nothing complicated. All those numbers you see on, uh, what is it, MS, MS, NBC, uh, the financial um, shows and things like that. You see all these, the Dow Jones symbols and everything like that, you know. I'm reading another good book called Stop Acting Rich by Thomas Stanley, Dr. Thomas Stanley. And in that book, he says that the real wealthy people, the real wealthy people actually use less than 20% of their um, net worth is in stocks. So, basic principle, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and leave right now and get ready to start my day. Got up at 5.45 this morning, and it feels great to get up in the morning because you can knock out so many things in a day. So, um, like I said to the subscriber again, I'm sorry I don't have any other news for you, but to tell you that I think that basic wealth building is common sense. So, until next time, signing off.